Hey guys, I'm Tasha and I have a Halloween tutorial for you. This tutorial doesn't require you to draw or to purchase a lot of materials. In fact, you should have a majority of these items in your stash. You do not need to have the exact colors. Anything similar will do. Remember, this is Halloween, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Majority of the glitters were purchased from the dollar store, except for a few. You will need a blue, a coppery orange, lime green, some holographic colors such as purple, violet, and also a lime green. The next colors are from Recollection, Emerald, Musa, Marine, Champagne, and Pesto. You will also need a container to house any leftover gel, and lastly, you will need some clear gel. Let's jump into this tutorial. I grabbed my palette and laid about a quarter teaspoon down. I will add more. Overall, I end up using about a teaspoon of clear gel. Your mixture should be smooth, not thick, so add as much as you need. The amount I am making should be enough for 10 nails. I use the cuticle pusher to help measure the glitter. And I also only use about a small amount of the micro glitter. So once I laid out my glitter, I mixed it using a spatula. I pressed the glitter into the gel so I would make a mess by stirring it. Once I was happy with the texture, I painted a nail using two coats of this black gel by Nobility. Once cured, I picked up a small amount of the glitter gel and painted a thin layer on the nail. You do not need to use this glitter gel for structure. I will add clear gel for that later. Make sure your nail is even all over. Try to smooth out any lumps and bumps. Go ahead and review the nail and then cure it in the lamp. Remove the tacky layer and now it's time to float a layer of clear gel on top to add structure. Adding clear gel would allow us to buff the nail without compromising the glitter. Sometimes, if you hit the glitter with a file or buffer, you remove the color. We don't want that, so encapsulating the glitter is best. Once you review the nail for the shape, go ahead and cure. You can remove the tacky layer and now you're ready to file and buff to reinforce the nail shape. Let's go ahead and remove the dust and then paint the nail with your favorite shiny top coat. Unfortunately, I forgot to record that part, but here I am removing the tacky layer. And there you have it, a super simple, fast, and expensive Halloween nail. For the remaining gel, just go ahead and scoop it up and place it in a UV resistant plastic container. Okay guys, that's all I have for you at this time. Come back and see me soon for another nail tutorial. But before I go, let me shout out my new subscribers and my old ones. Hey y'all! To those who are not subscribed, just go ahead and click the subscription button and let me slide into your YouTube feed. Lastly, if you like the tutorial, please click the like button. I'll wait. Take your time. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Bye!